Hello, I'm Katana. Oh, let me get out of bed. Um, pay no never mind to me having uh, been in bed in, in full clothes. Um, I had an exhausting day. <laughs> so I decided to take a nap. And I'm just gonna call myself Cat. That's right. <laughs> what is it, Balto? Meow. Meow. Oh, you just wanna say hello. <laughs> See? There you go. Right, okay. Excuse me, Balto. Um, I'd like to tell people about me. I've probably already said this in uh, a video, and I'll probably wind up saying it again. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I am on disability. I don't want to be on disability. I'm on food stamps. I don't want to be on food stamps. I want to do things on YouTube and use that as one of my sources of income instead of worrying with disability and food stamps because that stuff's no joke. And Some of the problems I have is my mental health. I'm on uh, medications for. Um, I'm on uh, Zyprexa, Prozac, and Xanax. That's some pretty heavy stuff. And. There's a story behind that. <laughs> Fancy that, there's a story. Come on, Balto. Come on up. It's story time. Oh, oh, hello. Hello to you, too. And, uh, while... Oh, yeah, hello, hello. Yeah, today I went with uh, my mom to a counseling appointment. And, hey, yeah, that, that's, that's a quite a, enough hellos. I want to finish telling everyone a story. Have you had enough? Huh? Hmm. Balto's helping me cope with reality. Lift your paw up instead of pulling it back, okay, Balto? That's how you unhook your claw from my shirt. No, no, no. Up and forward. He's only a year old. <laughs> he's, he's still a young cat. Which is preposterous uh, claiming it in itself because look how big he is. Look how big he is. He looks like he's full grown but he's still just a year old. He's still a... He's still a young uh, kitty. <clears throat> so anyway, I, I'm going to 
counseling with my mom under the family counseling thing <clears throat> and I'm seeing my own uh, psychiatrist who has prescribed those medications uh, yeah, I'm gonna be honest with the story there it, it's it's been it's because of uh, suppressed and repressed memories of stuff that's happened to me like throughout my life I don't want to go into all the details but uh, few years ago and it still feels fresh um, one of my sisters died and only after the funeral did I find out that she was raped and she was raped by someone who was a carrier for a disease <clears throat> it wasn't AIDS it was restrictive cardiomyopathy and what it did you can look it up it basically it made her heart turn into a brick of calcium inside her chest and she died in an extreme amount of pain and if I had gone with them to the hospital the night it happened I wouldn't be sitting here talking and telling you this right now it would have destroyed me as a person and I just wouldn't exist as a person I would just be this empty shell and I would have done things and not cared I, I just I would have been an empty shell I don't want to get into what would have happened because it didn't happen but it's, it's been a while and we're slowly healing we're still slowly healing and because of things that happened for the for the time we were dealing with that because of things that happened that are still affecting us I don't know how to put it into words right now but other stuff happened and it's still affecting us and there's bills from that and <clears throat> it's it's still just a horrible mess that I don't want to go into it, it it's a horrible mess so because of that and the the stress caused repressed and suppressed memories to resurface but because of that I'm on these medications and I'm going to counseling and, and a psychiatrist to deal with this stuff and it has diminished part of my mind my mental stability so as far as me being on YouTube is concerned hey everybody I've been through a lot of crap and I don't want to get into the details right now so please don't add stress 
don't add hate comments don't add derogative slang don't add stress because everybody has stress that they're dealing with mine just happens to be really bad and I honestly believe that I will be permanently dealing with these things because it was so many of these horrible things happening at once and then dealing with suppressed and repressed memories popping up I don't know what else to say but right now dealing with right now and trying to go forward with uh, what Jack said positive mental attitude I want to deal with right now for a little bit instead of dealing with the past so right now I just want to get uh, enough support for me and my channel so that I can do things so I can make gaming videos so I figured yeah I like doing gaming and doing gaming on YouTube is a thing so why don't I put them together and see if I enjoy that too So hopefully, this time, it turns out better than last time. Last time, I, I got my channel deleted because I went and started promoting my channel by spamming comments. So, I tried to appeal that and, and tell YouTube, look, if you're not going to promote my channel for me, let me do it. Either you promote it or let me promote it so they, they said no on the appeal I'm like okay I'll just make a new one with the new email and everything so here we go this is actually take three for me I hope as they say the third time is the charm and that this one will take off and be wildly successful and I'm not like tearing up or anything I'm just wiping the sleep crusty stuff out of my eye what else um, oh yeah me being on disability is for my mental stuff that's what they uh, signed it for however I do have rheumatoid arthritis which is really bad it's coupled with a really 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 bad vitamin D deficiency those two things combined amplify the pain you feel from the other one so it's exponential to the factor the exponent of two uh, so, you know, normal people think, oh yeah, pain level of five is normal. No, actually, pain level of zero is normal. So, I'm I'm walking around, and I can only walk around for so long before the pain sets in real bad, and I have to sit down. <clears throat> and I'm walking around, and the pain just goes it just goes into a parabolic curve and just goes straight up it becomes a spike wedged in between my bones because uh, what rheumatoid arthritis does is it deteriorates the cartilage between your bones and a vitamin D deficiency weakens the structure of your bones so that they're more brittle they're, they'll break easily and these two things together 
is like um, it's like having um, it's like taking a bunch of sand pouring water in it and letting the water dry off and then having a lump of sand and then grinding two of those lumps together they grind each other apart because they're they're structurally weak and because there's no cartilage between them they're grinding themselves apart so that pain is really intense and I I, I was um, I was uh, told to get a uh, over-the-counter uh, joint supplement so I have to buy that and I can't get it on like Medicaid or Medicare because I'm on disability because it's not like a prescription which they would cover <clears throat> And it was it was a continuing thing from a long time ago, which is uh, it's lapsed. So <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. <clears throat> but basically, I have to take a massive amount of vitamin D and joint supplements which right now I'm out of so it hurts just constantly I mean, just sitting here hurts just you know if I move a joint uh, a different way than I'm used to it'll hurt <clears throat> and my wrist sometimes seizes up because it was broke a while back so it's just like it seizes up and stops moving at times because of that but it doesn't increase the pain unless it's cold so that's how rheumatoid arthritis works when it's cold it hurts a lot more and what else <clears throat> well nothing else on that particular thing but I've got problems like everyone has problems but those are mine and that's what I'm dealing with What, Baltimore? What is it? What is it? So anyway, uh, what, what else can I tell you guys about me? I can't think of anything else right now. Oh yeah. Might as well talk a little bit about the channel that I'm building from scratch for the third time. Um, mostly just uh, uh, let's play vlogging. Like if I get a new game that has a physical disc I'll do a, an unboxing just to add some extra videos to it stuff like that mostly <clears throat> but there is uh, a few things that I'd like to work on that I don't have s equipment for um, my laptop won't do uh, recordings and uh, just recently within the last month my laptop has started to die because it's like 
10 years old. Um, it's just standard uh, technological decay on my laptop's hardware and software. It it's not something that I have the money to fix. But I need to get a new uh, computer anyway. And I entered into a, um, a giveaway from Origin PC. I hope that this time you actually win the, uh, the, the desktop they're giving away. Um, for anyone who would care to help me win that, instead of uh, contributing to my GoFundMe or my PayPal or my Patreon account, I'll put a link um, in the description that'll be, it'll be usable until the 10th of this month, and today's the 7th, so... What I'll do is just rush this video out ahead of everything that I've already done. I've got like three other videos that I've got for my channel so far. So this will be the fourth. Um, yeah, so you guys can use the link that will help me win the Origin Desktop giveaway. Um, when I get that, I will need to relearn how to use it because it's a completely different machine than what I've got now. I will have to, well, I say relearn, but I'll just have to learn how it's laid out. I will have to actually get the appropriate uh, capture hardware and software, which I don't have right now and I don't have the money for. so. It, it's a um, it's a balanced equation. You can you can contribute on Patreon. Please become a Patreon, uh, a patron at, on Patreon. Yeah, please become my patrons. That will help me greatly. Um, it'll help give a boost so that I can earlier on go out and get the the capture hardware and software so that I can do things on the PC as well as record uh, streams on Mixer on my Xbox One. I really want to do uh, some of the games in my Steam library which um, I've been building since before I had to move out on my own. Yeah, I'm, I'm out on my own. I'm paying all my own bills. So, I don't have extra money to just throw into my YouTube channel. Which, um... Gosh, that, that's... For me, it's terrible. <laughs> Ow. did not agree with me. No, actually, it still doesn't agree with me. It's decided to come back and attack. <clears throat> ah, ch chill out, Balto. <laughs> um, what else? Yeah, I'm trying to get a bunch of things out and just be open and honest about it. Okay, when I record, um, when I record certain things, I'm gonna have to use my camera phone, and it's not gonna be, like, really high quality. It's just gonna be bland, and when I do that, um, I'll do, I'll do a Ratchet and Clank, uh, playlist, and when I do that, I will be releasing it on Patreon 
before it hits YouTube and it'll be through my camera phone and it's not gonna be like high quality but at the same time keep this in mind once I have your support on Patreon uh, once I have enough of you who have decided to be generous beyond subscribing I can redo that with a, a proper capture device and then I can sit down on a computer and edit it properly so that it looks a lot better and that in itself is gonna take me a while to learn how to do so uh, as much as it's probably actually begging please do more than just like subscribe comment and share this video do more than just that for all my videos join patreon and support my channel through patreon that way I can take care of uh, getting things a little bit faster than simply through uh, having everyone subscribe, like, share, comment. It's better that I do that uh, telling everyone to like, comment, share, and subscribe better that I do that at the end of the video personally I don't want someone telling me to do that in the uh, beginning of the video so that's why I'm gonna do it at the end of the video thanks for watching uh, like I said like comment share subscribe become a patreon supporter today uh, use the link that's going to be in the description for the uh, the giveaway the the origin desktop giveaway which is something a link that I'll be giving to you which will help me win the giveaway because it's uh, a referral link it's not going to help you win the giveaway I'm going to be honest it'll help me win it so that I can use it to actually do uh, better quality content so I can do editing and whatnot that's what I'm hoping for but thanks for watching and you'll see me in another video soon bye